हेलो स्टूडेंट हेमल सरीज हियर सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द न्यू टॉपिक ऑफ आवर चैप्टर कॉल्ड रेडियो एक्टिव सब्सटेंस एंड आवर टॉपिक नेम इज द सब्सटेंस इन कॉमन यूज सो टुडे वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कांसेप्ट ऑफ रेडियो एक्टिविटी ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो व्हाट इज रेडियो एक्टिव सब्सटेंस बेसिकली सो दो सब्सटेंस और एलिमेंट्स हैविंग हायर एटॉमिक मास they have capacity to emit different radiations these radiations are invisible highly penetrating and with high energy such type of radiations are emitted continuously from some elements and such elements are called as radioactive elements example uranium thorium and radium okay so radium thorium and uranium emitted the different kinds of radiation from them and this radiation are very useful as well as harmful okay so let understand the radiation in detail so elements with higher atomic mass like uranium thorium and radium okay they have higher atomic mass and elements like uranium thorium and radium have property to emitting invisible penetrating and high energy radiation such substance or element are called as radioactive element okay such elements are called as radioactive element and the property is called as radioactivity okay and the property of such element to emitting the radiation is called as radioactivity okay then why these elements are emitting such radiation basically so they are emitted such radiation due to their nucleus is very unstable so due to unstable nucleus they releases continuously different kinds of radiation generally they releases alpha radiation beta radiation and gamma radiation okay so nucleus of the radio this is the reason why this element releases radiation so the reason is nucleus of radioactive element is very unstable their nucleus is unstable and due to unstable nucleus they emits radiation okay they releases generally three type of radiation one is alpha radiation alpha radiation is positively charged we will understand with the help of diagram or experiment okay and beta radiation beta radiation is the negatively charged okay it slightly attract towards the positive charge electrode when they are passes through the electric field and gamma radiation gamma radiation have no charge in it it is it do not deflect by positive or negative terminal of the electric field okay that's why it do not have any charge it is the neutral radiation okay let understand history about the radiation so in 1889 rutherford discovered two type of radiation one is alpha radiation and beta radiation and the same year by the willard the third radiation which is gamma radiation was discovered okay that you have to remember the name of scientist okay so in 1889 rutherford discovered alpha and beta radiation by the radium metal radium was emitted such kind of radiation and which is discovered by rutherford in 1889 whereas willard discovered the third radiation called gamma radiation okay so this is all about the radiation now we will understand what are the uses and how the charge of the radiation is been discovered okay so first you have to write down this important part then we will move further okay so write down first now let understand the charge on different radiation okay so we have to understand with the help of scattering of particles which is nothing but the scattering of radiation by the radioactive substance okay so this block is called as lead block okay it is the lead block 
okay and at the lead block there is a hole where radioactive substance is kept and here high intensity of light is incident through any source okay it is the high intensity light light with high intensity light with high intensity when incident on the radioactive substance it emits the radiation it emits the radiation in large amount okay so when these radius are spread throughout the area those radiations are filtered with the help of slit that means we have to work or study on the small radiation only okay when this radiation are allowed to passes between two different electrode of the electric field in this electric field we have negatively charged terminal which is called as cathode and positively charged terminal called anode okay so it is observed that some radiations they bend towards the positively charged electrode that means these particles have negative charge on them okay so we know opposite charges attracts each other if this terminal is positively charged that means negative charge rays or radiation will attract toward the positively charged electrode that means this radiation have negative charge in it okay it is the negative terminal of the electric source so the few radiations they attracted toward the negatively charged terminal called cathode that means this radiation have positive charge on them have positive charge on them and some radiations they do not deflect either by cathode or anode that means or positively charged or negatively charged electrode they passes straight in a line okay that means they do not deflected by positive and negative terminal that means they do not have any charge on them that means they are no charge or neutral they are neutral radiation okay so we know that these negatively charged rays are called as beta rays positively charged radiation is called as alpha rays and alpha is denoted by the symbol like this okay beta is denoted by this beta okay and the neutral rays called gamma rays they are do not get deflected with with positive or negatively charged terminal of any electric source okay so this is the way we have identified the charge on the radiation okay so this is the way you have to perform the experiment if you want to check the charge on radiation okay so this study is done by the willard as well as the rutherford okay and they explain the charge on different radiation okay so in conclusion we can write that beta radiation have negative charge so here we have to write negative alpha radiations have positive charge so here we have to write positive and gamma rays they are neutral means no charge so here we have to write neutral neutral radiation okay and these radiations are obtained on the zinc coated photographic plate okay so this is the way we have to determine the charge on radiation okay so write it down this experiment as well as you have to go through the theory which is given in your textbook okay so write down now so students here we have completed our today's session so in next video we are going to continue with the uses of radioactive substance okay so we know radioactive substance can be used in two ways one is by using radiation or another is by using the radioactive metal itself okay so we will discuss in radioactive material and their uses in our next video so aaj ke liye itna hi milte hain next video mein bye for now